Hi everybody, it's Anne here from PositivelyPaperCraft.co.uk and I'm just back with a tutorial. Now this is to make um, your own notebooks, okay, with just normal printer paper, copier paper and some designer paper. Um, and this is not my idea, I cased this from Danielle Rose's channel. I saw her making them a few weeks ago and she did hers for um, her on-stage swaps. So this is who I got the idea from. Um, I have slightly added a couple, well not changed it, all I've done is added a couple of bits. So I put um, a nice roomy little pocket in there and then on the back I also <coughs> um, made a little envelope and just put some velcro so people can put little notes in or whatever and I also did a little matching pen as well so I'm going to show you how to make them all now to make this um, I got this from Danielle as well she had bought this amazing long arm stapler and there's a couple of kinds. This one can staple up to 50 sheets. Um, you get about 500 staples or something with it and this was £10. Um, and it's really heavy and sturdy so this is amazing. You can make all your own notebooks. So I will put the link in the description where um, of this stapler that I've got. There is a one that I think is slightly cheaper which is about £7. Um, it's really just the same but I think it only goes through 25 sheets but that one would have done to be honest. Um, but yeah this one goes through 50 so I'll put the link because you will need one of these. Um, and you can make them any size, this is just an A5 okay. So I haven't got much um, copy of paper left because I made two of these and I messed up with the staple. Um, I would practice on a scrap piece of paper because you've got to get the, staple, the staples in the middle. If you don't get them in the middle it's ruined and that happened to me a few times so I would just practice. So I think I've got about 15 sheets here. Um, I would make it bigger but as I say this is the last of the paper because I wasted loads. Um, and it's just A4 printer paper. Mine's 90 GSM which I get from Wilkinson's. And I really like this because it's, it's actually really nice quality paper. So I've got two sheets together. And all I'm doing is just literally folding them in half. That's how I've made mine. So just fold it in half. And then with a bone folder, wherever I've put it, just burnish it. And as I said, you could make this as thick as you want really because, I mean, this is only like... 15 sheets but that's still you know a relatively decent notebook and that, that staples up to 50 so you could make it a really thick one if you wanted to. So that's the basis of the pages and um, again I'm going to use this lovely dashing, um, dashing along paper so what I've done is I've just um, cut it down to eight and three eighths eight and three eighths and I've just left it at 12 inches all right and then all I did was I just popped the paper in so just put it in and then just so you've probably got a little bit of paper peeping through there and then Or maybe it's not even peeping through, just level. And then I just kind of fiddled around with it until I was happy with the placement. OK, 
here, which I think, and then I just pressed it down, smoothed it down with the with fingers. And there we go, that's where I want it. So I'm just going to press on it a little bit with the bone folder. Now, take the long arm stapler. As I said, you get the staples with it, you get loads, and they're much thicker than normal ones. And this just you know, this just breezes through it, to be honest. It's really, it's a really amazing stapler. Right, so I've got all the score lines leveled together and then I'm going to pop it in. Now, what I, the way I've started to do it is to get it in the right place, the staples in the right place. What I did was just get this right. And just pop so pop it in and then now I know that's gonna be a little bit too not at the right angle where I want it. needs to come back a little bit and then what I did was I just pressed it down enough to make a mark okay like that and then I know if those two little marks now I can see that they're not in the right place this is what I've been doing needs to go back again okay so let's try this in the right place. It is a bit of trial and error I'm afraid. No, it still needs to come back. Let's try that. Still not right. Okay, I'll try that now. Hopefully that'll be right. Just a little bit more and then I think I'm going to go for about here. I just hope it's right. Okay. Why hasn't that gone in? Damn. It's never happened before. Do that again. Okay. Um, that's not too bad actually. and then I'm going to put another one in the bottom that one's better so it's as simple as that okay and then you've got your own notebooks you can make them for craft fairs gifts whatever you want okay I think it's a really cool idea. 
So. There we go. So that's the notebook made for the pocket on <clears throat> the inside. This needs to measure um, three and three quarters by six inches and you want to score the two sides and the bottom at a quarter of an inch. OK, so I'm just going to grab this little scoreboard. So a quarter of an inch on each side and then three and a half inches on the short side. Okay, this is going to be our little pocket. them down and then and then if we take a little hole punch I've got a one inch punch we can just put a little finger hole in the middle I'm just going to peel the tape off okay and then I'm gonna just pop the pocket probably about Okay, so we've got a nice roomy little pocket and then for the envelope I use the envelope um, punch board and I'm sure I made a three and a half by four so the paper should be six and a half by six and a half no, it's six and three quarters by six and three quarters. So yeah, a three and a half by four and a half envelope. Uh, sorry, size paper. Uh, size envelope, yeah, three and a half by four and a half. And the paper is six and three quarters square. And we need to punch and score at um, three inches. And then what I did was I cut out um, a gold star and a smaller star in Whisper White to put on the front. And then I also cut out a little mini star in gold and I was just going to just glue that on the front of the envelope. Just use a bit of glue. I'm just going to glue this onto here. Okay. And then what I'm going to use to decorate the front is Hearts Come Home. And I'm going to use the little Santa and Marion Bright and I'm going to stamp them onto my white star and then have the gold one behind it and then they're going to go on the front of the book. So I've got, I'm going to use, um, what do you call it, uh, black ink for the Santa. 
so I'm going to stamp him as if he's going through the sky obviously so we will have him somewhere like this Okay, and then I'm going to use real red for the merry and bright. So I've stamped the little Santa and then I'm going to do the merry and bright in real red. Okay, so I'm just going to do that underneath. Check I've got it the right way. Okay, just like that. And I've put some dimensionals on the gold star. And then I'm just going to put really cute. So the pen, I've only got a red one, just a normal like biro pen. Just screw the little ink thing out so you're just left with that. And then I've got a little bit of paper, if I can find it. Just a piece of paper which is one inch by four inches and then all I did was I just took the pen and then just kind of rolled the paper around the pen okay just roll it round just so we're giving it some like shape so it's not flat and then all I did was I just started to roll it quite tightly. Just into like a little tube. Okay, so just roll it round. then hopefully it should be small enough to just slot through our little pen and then just keep pushing it down Oops. obviously if it gets a little bit tighter it's because it's not the same width uh, as you've rolled it so just Keep pushing it down. And then what I took was um, just like a stylus and I just pushed it down. Can you see? It's gone right down there. And if it kind of pushes in like this one has, I just opened it back out with a porky tool like that okay I think that's far down yeah because she, the lid's gonna hide hide it anyway and then just slot this back through and then just screw it back on there we go, we've got our little matching notebook and pen which I think 
is a really cute idea. Now, as I said, I would just have a practice first with the stapler. But we've got a pocket there. We've got plenty of our pages. And we've got a little envelope on the back to store little bits of paper or little notes. And we've got a cute little matching pen. So, I hope you've enjoyed it. As I said, I'll put the link for the stapler in the description and also Danielle's video because um, it was her idea. That's where I got this from. So, um, I'll be back tomorrow, sorry, Sunday, with um, some more challenge entries and I've got some amazing ones to show you. And then next week I will be back every day. Um, I'll be doing seven days of Christmas week. And I've got some really cool little projects lined up for that. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Take care and bye for now.